What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome back to Transport Fever Los Santos. And there's something I really wanted to show you. Let me just turn this camera around. Look at all the food there. Wow, I literally just noticed that because I've been going around doing some major improvements. I'll come back to that. We've got 800 for the food LS hub. Wow. <laughs> Oh, that was not expected. Right, buy trains. We need just trains and trains and trains. 800. Wow. I genuinely just noticed that before I started recording. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oop, out of money. 3. Come on. 8. Right, it took me longer than expected to buy that because we're having some money issues at the moment and that brings me neatly around the food and the money to a major issue we need to solve. So let me just put this on the line. It's this line here. And before I get onto that, I'd just like to say this junction here looks absolutely awesome. With the curved track, the bit that goes off and tunnels under and the flying junction, I just love that. Like, this is one of the world's most complicated junctions ever around here, but I know, this is just something about it. You know when something's awesome, but you can't describe why? That's exactly how I feel about this junction. It's not the most efficient, but I just really like it, and I do not know why. Right, money and food. We have a major issue with our food lines. Let me show you the profits, and it's not with these lines here. It's with the boat line and the Elysian dock food line, which is the one we put in down by here. These are costing us a bomb. Like, seriously, an arm and a leg they're costing us. So, we kind of got to get rid of them. They've been, the problem is, they've been made redundant now because of the train line. We just don't need them anymore, so it's pointless having them. They're costing us like five million a year. So I'm afraid the dock line and the train line have to go. So it would be under SF, which is all the way near the bottom. RP, SF food uh, one, yep. Although that it says it's making a profit there, but I don't think that's right. Either way, it's going. Go to the depot and be sold. Did that work? I think it did, it's just froze my game a little bit. Yep. Come on. <laughs> Anything involving water seems to freeze this game, and I have no idea why. It seems to be only this map as well. Like, even when I was upgrading all the lines and stuff, like, everything near the water would just freeze for about 10 seconds, and it's really odd. I don't know why that is. Right, the train line also, I'm afraid... You, where are you? You are coming down towards there now, towards the bridge. Let's have one last ride on train 14. In fact, let's make it a little bit special. This is going to be the final farewell. Bye bye train. It was nice knowing you. Right, when it gets past the depot, I'm going to flip you round. Oh, no, we need to flip you around again. It wasn't quite far enough. And now should be enough. Go to depot and be sold. Goodbye, farewell. The final farewell. Boom. And I suppose we can get rid of this line now. Uh, TF, Elysian Dark, where are you? There you are. You. Goodbye. Kind of sad, I spent a lot of time for that and I really got attached to it, but anyway. Uh, TF Conmat and Food Grapeseed, they haven't had time to settle in now. TF LS Hub, not quite sure why you're not working. Uh, I think there's just not enough construction materials to put on the line yet. Would make sense. Right, we got rid of that. Now, earlier I mentioned some major upgrades. What were they? Well, I went round and I upgraded all of the passenger lines to electric and high-speed track, including the stations. And this one here, 
on Sa- on the side of Sandy Shores. God, that took the mick. Every time I tried to click something, it would say too much slope. So I had to take it out, put it back in, relay the, ru- the track. God, that took the mick. Anyway, let's start off with a stab line, because I would imagine that's going to be cheaper. And I don't know what we're going to upgrade them to yet. So replacements by... By oop by 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 by, we we got enough usage. If you look at the stations, we definitely got enough usage to justify replacing them. Like I took this station out, and already it's got 300 people waiting there, so definitely justifiable. What are we going to use? These high wafers are tempting. What's these zephyrs? These silver ones at the bottom. Pioneer zephyr. Carry, can carry 52 at 110 miles per hour. The Zephyr is formed of cars predominantly articulated together with Jacobs bogies and built by the Bud Company. The train features extensive use of stainless steel. Um, 52 per train though. How big are they? Is it just four carriages? I think it is. And I don't know, it wouldn't look right doubling them up. And I don't fancy putting twice the, twice as many trains on. Okay, what about this, the Hiawatha? They're 7.6 million each, but I think it'll be worth it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is going to be very expensive. Yeah, $50 million. $50 million. Wow. Um... Uh, how many trains do we have? Four. Okay. Let's try this. What if we got Zephyrs, but we put twice as many on the line? How much would that cost us? So it's five million a vehicle, so about 20 million for the new ones. And only 13.6 to replace these now. Um... Is that a good idea? I'm not sure it is. What's the capacity on the trains now? Um, you. How many can you carry? 64. And the... Uh, where are they? The streamlined carriages can carry 18 times 5, that's 90. So what if we just put five on? Hiawatha. We can always add more later. One, two, three, four, five. Forty-six. So it's not that much less, really. I think it's the train that's the main expense. Um. Hmm. This is a tough one. Do I go for the Zephyrs? I don't know. I don't like them that much. i got to be fair. 1.12 million each. They're more expensive. They're not very quick. And they're not very fast either. Hmm. These only have a top speed of 93. The train itself has a top speed of 99. These have a top speed of 110. They can carry 52. So they can carry... How much should I say this carried? 64. It wouldn't be that much of a downgrade. And if you take into account the speed difference, they'd probably make up for it on their own. So do you know what? I'm going to go for that. Replace now. Yes. And I'm going to put some more on the line as well. So, let's have a little bit of a ride on you. See you upgrade. This is the coupling Rhino. Guy, I haven't seen this train for a while. So this is the end of these Atlantics on this line, I suppose. Look at that bridge in the distance. That looks so cool. One final farewell along the edge of the Alamo Sea between Sandy Shores and Stab City. Even though Stab City is actually tiny in the real game. God, this hill needs to be done. It needs something sorted out with this. I probably should have relayed that. 
but I actually ran out of money, believe it or not. I was like 10 million in debt at one point. And the worst thing is, the point where I was in debt was when I t took a Polito Bay station to repair it, because it wouldn't work. And I couldn't put it back in, so I broke the lines, which wasn't good. Right, let's have a look at these Zephyrs. Ooh, shiny. They're not bad looking. They are not bad. I want to see what kind of speed it gets up to. Ooh, listen to that. I'm guessing these are electric. They certainly sound electric. Actually, I'm not sure. No, I don't think they are electric. They don't have any um, pantographs. Hmm. Right, will it get up to 110? That's the question. They're not the best looking trains, but I think they'll do. Come on, 110. You gonna get it? 46, 47. I don't think it is. It probably will on the stretch between Sandy and Los Santos. Or, uh, what's it? La Mesa? It's the next stop after this, I believe. 55 miles per hour it got up to there. Not that impressive. But not bad for such a short run. I suppose that's acceptable. I just want to see what speed it gets up to on this stretch. It should go flat out. Let's go first person. Why not? Under this massive bridge. Look at that with the train going over. Oh, that's cool. Under there, and then under the other bridge. Go! Come on, frames. God, this being slow. We're starting to uh, stress my processor now, I think. I do definitely need a new one. I want to get a uh, i7 4790K. I was getting a game one for Christmas. I found one online for about £360, which looked nice. New motherboard I'd need for that, though. That's why I'm not doing it yet. That's the thing. With computers, all the parts need to fit together. So if you have a major upgrade, you've got to replace other things as well. Like, my power supply unit's fine, so is my graphics card, but my motherboard wouldn't handle an i7, it's got the wrong chipset, so I'd have to replace that. Right, how fast are we going? Only 61, really? I'm a, I mean, I know this is up and down, but I thought it'd go faster than that, surely. 62. Come on, train, you've got to hit 110. That's why I bought you. 70. So we know it can hit 70. It's got to hit 110, surely. Come on, train. 73. Although there are a lot of bends in the train, uh, in the track, which um, do slow it down in places, I know. Right, down this hill, you've got to hit 90. Come on. I don't think it will. 85, 86, 87. 87 miles per hour. You know what? That's good enough. That'll do. Right, I need to put a few more of these on. So, where's the depot? There's one up here. God, my frame rate has gone to crap. So, Zephyr. How much are they? 5 million each? Pioneer Zephyr. Yeah, one, two, three. I can't get another one. Three will be fine. Set you all on Sandy LS Stab. Perfect. Although that really should be a Leishan Island Stab. Oh well. So, uh, LS Stab sounds better, I think. So they're coming out of the depot now. Right. I shudder to think how much this is going to cost to upgrade these. Uh, no, not the station. What am I doing? I want this line and this line. God, this is going to be ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to find out. So, let's just try it. Higher Waffers. With Streamlined New Mexico's. One, two, three, four, five, six. Replace now. Seventy-seven and a half million dollars. Somehow I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, we need to, before we do that, we need to start troubleshooting our line, see what's losing us money, and try and fix it. What's losing us 3.1 million? 
Why are you not carrying anything? Uh, there's stuff, wait, ah, we need more trucks. Depot, where's the depot? Can you see the depot? I thought we had one somewhere around here. Have I got the icon turned off? I better have. No. Nope. Uh, am I blind or is there no? We'll just use the one in Sandy. I could have sworn there was one in Grapeseed. Right. Buy road vehicles. Max. Come on, mouse. One, two, three, four. Just screw it. Set you all on... I can't see what I'm doing. This is going to be RF Grapeseed Food 1. And... Oop, ran out of money. Where's the... Oh, it's off the page. I can't access the depot. <laughs> oh, where I scrolled it up so I could put them on the line, it's gone off the top of the screen, so now I can't even close it or do anything. All i got to do is keep buying vehicles until it comes back down the page. That should be fun. There it is. Right, all of you on Grapeseed Con Mat 1. Ah, uh, and I can't... Damn. I literally can't even open that. Right, what I'm going to have to do... Close all the tabs. And... Right, what else is losing us money? The Con Mat and the Grapeseed lines. That's about it, really. Losing us major. Although the Fuel line's losing us quite a lot of money. Yeah, there's just so much food built up there. Has the Conmat line even carried anything? No. Hang on a minute. What trucks have I put on there? That's the wrong ones. Damn. Milwaukee. Uh, it is state cars that we need. Jeez. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Replace now. 500,000. That's why that's not carrying anything. God, I'm an idiot. Right, TF Food Polito Hub. Why are you not carrying anything? Just one train. Is that it? How much are you going to pick up? Quite a bit. You going to fill up? Not quite. Uh, would it be worth putting another train on there? No, not for the time being, I don't think. I don't think that would be worth it quite yet. Um, SF Fuel 1, what am I going to do with you? Uh, you are... The thing is, that should be making us a profit, because that's the only line... Carrying fuel down to the city. Um, where's the train? There. Uh, hello. Waiting for free path. What the hell are you on about? Oh. I know why this is. <laughs> yep, wait for full load. Nope, that's not what we want. Should have changed that. Right, why is there no fuel waiting here for you? The... Is it because the boat's going into the depot? Are they holding you up or something? God, they're taking their while to get into the depot, aren't they? Right, we got six million. Right, I, before I do anything else, I want to buy this last Zephyr. Because that is annoying me OCD-wise. So, right down to the bottom. Zephyr, buy. And you are going on LS Stab. Sorry, that was just OCD, man. Anyone who's got it will know. I haven't actually got OCD, but I think everyone has an OCD thing. And that was just one of mine. Right, what am I going to do with you? What is that signal terminal? Um, how much are you bring in? 129. That's not that much. What's the frequency on this line? Four minutes? 
Realistically, it should be doing better than it is. I'm not sure why it's not. Where's the train line? Uh, TF. Where are you? Is the train line even making money? Oh, one of the tram lines is. That's, I'm quite surprised by that. TF, TF, where is it? Am I going blind or is it not here? It's got to be somewhere. Ah, there it was. Uh, I've lost it again. Polito Dock tra No, that's RF. I literally just saw it. TF comma... Where are you? Polito Dock Transfer. Comma Polito Hub. Right, sort by name. That'll do it. Right, it's TF. I can't even remember what it's called. Is it TF Fuel 1? Yes, it is. That's why I couldn't spot it. Right, how much are you making? You're actually making a profit, to be fair. It's just the boat line that's not. Oh, auto save. Um, where is it there? What can I do to make you more profitable? Are they waiting for each other? No. How much is waiting at the dock? Not much. There is a massive traffic jam, but meh, I'm not going to do anything about that because this line's not going to be there much longer. Why? Just why? <laughs> um, it must be because it's traffic. I am tempted just to get rid of the entire fuel system. Like, I'm going to put it back in, but I'll put it in with trains. Is that a good idea? Um, I could save myself an awfully lot of money, but a lot of the fuel lines are actually making a profit. I'm just not... Sh um, I'm just trying to think if there's any, like, hidden, not obvious consequences of getting rid of it. I am thinking it's probably worth doing. You know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get rid of all of the fuel lines. First thing to go is TF Fuel 1. So, vehicles, you and you. You're full. Actually, they're both full. Right, screw it. I'm going to leave them in and just kind of hope that that improves. I, I could relay this road system, but honestly, is it worth it? Unless I start printing the fuel today, problem is I've got nowhere. Like, I've run out of platforms. Although, saying that, could upgrade to more platforms. Like, eight... I could put another 8 on, potentially. Um, should I do that? Yes. Okay, I guess we're doing fuel today, then. I wasn't planning this, but I'm going to do fuel. Uh, first thing I want to do, then, if that's the case is a train station. I need a train station. So, uh, this is going to be a freight station, freight terminal. Uh, two, no, more than two tracks. Go for four tracks. 120 plus 200, high speed catenary, and no second street connection. Uh, do you know what? I would be better getting rid of all the lines, wouldn't I, first? Redoing this area, make it acceptable for a train station, and then, after that, then start printing them in. Right, that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm not going to sit here and do it with you. I'll cut it out. I'll get rid of all of the lines relating to fuel. 
uh, taking fuel away, putting oil between them, all of that's got to go and I will bring you back once I've done that. Okay guys, so we just got a new vehicle, the PC1643 Pittsburgh. Not really interested in that, but as I was putting the track, the uh, lines away, getting rid of the lines, I haven't quite got rid of the train line because I was trying to shift all this fuel off here first. It might, or nearly all of this, going to get picked up by this train. So after that, I'm going to send these to the depot. But as I was going through the lines, I realised what an enormous task this was going to be. Like, it really is a humongous task. So, what do I need to do in total? Well, first things first, I want to quad track this by here. So the uh, Conmat stone lines and this line are not sharing the same track. I think that would be a good idea. And also, I need to put in stations, I need to lay the lines, I need to put the signals in. I need to save up money and buy the trains, I need to relay this road network here. It's a humongous task I've set myself. So, uh, I, well, I suppose the best way to do this, I know some of you will hate me for this. Oh, incoming vehicles, I don't think so. How are the incoming vehicles? You're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, hello? There's no incoming vehicles. What is this called? Sandy Shores Depot 2. You. Where the hell are you? Really? Son of a gun. How did you get there? Right, I'm not even going to bother doing that. I just, <laughs> there's no point. Right, I want to get rid of these trains here. So, as soon as I get back to this station here. Oh, you. I probably know you have a bit of fuel. Oh, it's not worth it. Really is not worth it. Go to the depot and be sold. And where's your little buddy? He'd be over here somewhere. There you are. So this line has to go. There's no use for it anymore. Pointless having it. I might recommission the train station on Elysian Island. I don't know, because I need to deliver construction materials, food and fuel to Elysian Island. That could be a way to do it, to recommission that station. Is this really full speed? 34 miles per hour. But anyway, I am going to time lapse this. I'm not going to make it a huge time lapse, or at least I'm going to try not to. But you've got to bear in mind, it is a lot of work I have to do. And I'll bring you back towards the end after I put everything in. I'll probably do the signals offline. But then after that, we get to do the exciting bitch. Exciting bitch? <laughs> yes, the exciting bitch. The exciting bit, which is buying trains. I can't even believe I said that. The exciting bitch. <laughs> Talk about slip of the tongue. Right, you're nearly at the depot. So I'm going to flip you around. You're going to go to the depot and be sold. Right, so let me get on with this. And I'll bring you back in a moment.
Okay guys, so let me just walk you through it. We got four lines in. Uh, the first one, which is TF Fuel Hub, takes oil, uh, sorry, takes fuel from here across to the hub. It's then distributed between Chumash, which I forgot to put a line in, I've just realized, Polito, Grapeseed, and Los Santos. And we're probably going to have even more lines in when we put in the other hub for Elysian Island and La Mesa. And now all that's left to do is to put in the line which takes the oil to the fuel processing plant. And then we've got to put the trains on. So, if you want to see that, make sure you come back for the next episode. God, I love that cliffhanger. As much as I'd love to put them on right now, right here, I'm afraid I am completely out of time. Like, literally, i got to work in about half hour, so I'm going to be late to that. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to leave this on a cliffhanger. But make sure you come back for the next episode where we're going to make tons of money because we lost quite a bit because uh, our fuel line broke. The one taking the fuel to... Not the fuel, the food to the hub. And all the other lines broke because of that. So... Yeah, we got to earn that money back. So make sure you come back for the next episode. I will see you then. Peace out, guys.